When I first moved to Korea eight years ago, it was my dream to live in Seoul. My art degree couldn't get me a teaching job there, so I took the first job I could get in Osan, a small city about an hour away. It was mostly farmland and older buildings, not exactly the futuristic setting I was hoping for at the time. I would catch the train to Seoul every chance I could to escape it. I remember seeing four giant skyscrapers every day on my way to work, and I wanted to see what they were. I bought a bike and rode in their direction after work one night. A massive cityscape appeared. It was a big contrast to Osan. The city turned out to be Dongtan. It amazed me with its modern infrastructure, central park, and wide paths, making it the most beautiful city I'd seen so far in Korea. It became my favorite place to cycle to after work to make myself feel like I was living in the future. My teaching contract ended in 2014, and I still had my eyes set on Seoul, so I moved there the night after my last day of work. My new cycling hobby allowed me to explore every hidden nook and cranny of Seoul. It was the best way to get around, but something was missing from my life. I miss being closer to nature, and Dongtan had the perfect combination of lush green forests and the futuristic Korean setting that I grew to love so much. My wife Eugen and I moved here in 2020, and it's been an absolute pleasure to live here so far. It's almost like a combination of Korea and Canada, with enough space for everyone to live comfortably, and the convenience of having everything you need all within a 10 minute walk. Hopefully we showed you a new perspective of Korea in this video. If you get the chance to come to Korea someday, check out Dongtan. It won't disappoint you. It's now time for us to continue our cycling journey. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for a new vlog about our preparations next Sunday.